I'm gonna go ahead and get these sausage and cheese biscuits in the oven before I finish getting ready this morning. All I've really done is brush my teeth and wash my hands and face, so before I get ready this morning. <laughs> the first thing we need is three cups of self-rising flour. Manly still asleep, so I'm talking to myself. These are those sausage and cheese biscuits I was telling y'all about that are kind of like sausage balls, but they're going to be, you know, biscuits. And we're not using Bisquick, we're using self rising flour. So they're a little different, but they're just, they're kind of like sausage ball biscuits. Now we put the butter in, and I'm just going to top it up just like I would do if we were making our regular biscuits. sharp cheddar cheese about a cup and I'm just gonna mix that in coat the cheese with the flour so that it doesn't all wanna you know stick together in one spot now we put in the sausage and I'm gonna do the same thing with the sausage just kind of cover it with the flour breaking it up as we go I love sausage balls they're like my favorite holiday appetizer uh oh mr. man's waking up right when we hear him waking up everybody's rushing in there <laughs> he receives a grand greeting every morning I'm not gonna have a link for this recipe because I actually saw it in a magazine but I will put which magazine it was and type out the recipe in the description box for y'all I'm changing it up just a little I just took out a few things I didn't think the kids would like in them so I'm just doing the basic version <laughs> now we put in the milk one cup of milk and we're just gonna mix this It said to roll this out into an 8x10. I'm just pressing it out into an 8x10. And we're just going to cut it into 12 to 16 squares. That's it. Now we just move these over here to the baking sheet. They're going to go in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. mint leaf now buddy <laughs> something needs to happen here no. but not only does that joker look lonely <laughs> I was about to put some fruit and some eggs you over some, here I'll cover it with fruit <laughs> <laughs> y'all I was when I took them out of the oven I was like how am I gonna make this look what good is a <laughs> carrot cake sausage biscuit <laughs> All I'd say is if you're serving this, and hold on just a minute. Give these to your guests and tell them that this is gonna be a treat that you want them to use other senses besides <laughs> their vision. Yeah, it's really good. It does, it tastes like. That's good, but you don't want to, cook, you don't want to focus on it. It's, um, let me, close your eyeballs let me show y'all how they look in the magazine. Joker's good. It's just a mixture between a carrot cake look with some sausage. I thought mine didn't look too much like these, but they do. They just shine some light. Y'all see that? They just shine some light on them and put them in that basket with that nice little towel. If you put yours in a towel basket. Hold on. Everybody hold on. Here it is, everybody. Kind of just stick that one down like that. See? Now it really looks like Oh, cake. my goodness. Now we got something. You're going to want to leave their eyes open on this. <laughs> That's better. That, that totally look at that. changed my whole Completely. attitude. Now we're going to set these now. over here. Now hold on. I ain't done yet. Oh, not done yet. Okay. <laughs> yes, I am. We ain't got no orange juice. <laughs> now what you got? You got something everybody's going to want to grab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does sound good. See, food presentation I'm is very you, important. It's important to it do is. this in, in lots of things in life. Now it just makes people, people happy. By, yeah. Oh, they'll go by and they'll smile and they'll... The, here's what'll happen. They'll be going down that buffet, and they'll get that tea. As they go by, and their eyes are locked right there. 
and they'll don't, they'll at first not be sure, and then something will tell them because of all that red. Yeah, and the candle, and candle. light shining on them. Did Put them in some candle them, light. And yeah. there you go. They really are good, y'all. They taste like a fluffy, big sausage you ball. You can trust us on this. It kind of tastes like a sausage biscuit. Yeah, a sausage and cheese biscuit. It's just all together, and it's, you know, in disguise as a piece of carrot cake. Right. Little pancake syrup. Yours, this one's in the shape like a little. little I love a Christmas tree. Like a little skull. <laughs> Put your little pancake syrup on that thing right there, and I'm gonna tell you something. For real, they are good. They taste like a big sausage ball biscuit, but they just—they're not as appealing. You just gotta make them, put them in them, put them in something with a pretty towel. Boom. You gonna take them somewhere? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you go to a family dinner and think you're gonna take that in a little old tin foil thing <laughs> <laughs> and set that down right there, yours will not get touched. Do not do that now. I'm telling you, you'll go home crying. <laughs> well, I faced the mountain I've never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. Well, I know it's been a while, so Lord, please hear my prayer. Need you like I never have before. Okay, y'all, we have finished eating supper now. I'm getting the kitchen cleaned up. And it got dark just a little bit after seven. It was like about 7.30, wasn't it? I'm telling y'all, it really is getting darker earlier, earlier this year. It seems like it is anyway. I don't remember it getting this dark this early. I mean, before we know it, it's gonna be getting dark at like 5.30. That's the only thing I don't love about fall is that it gets darker earlier. We don't have as much daylight. You want another cat cat? <laughs> so I made that banquet fried chicken and I also made chicken fries. This is what's left over because some of the kids don't like bone in chicken and of course Manly, he can't have that kind yet, right? You gotta have the easy kind to eat. Where are you going? Oh, you want me to put it on your plate? You still have, 
You still have some on your plate. You got a lot of cat cack over here. Anyway, yeah, so I made the chicken fries and the fried chicken and mashed potatoes, biscuits, green beans, and some corn on the cob. I'm getting ready to pack up all the leftovers, get the kitchen cleaned up. So this morning we played at a church. It was their homecoming, and we had to get there pretty early because we had to get everything set up, go over the songs, and then we ate with them afterwards, and then came back home, and we all took a nap. Every single body took a nap. <laughs> So then, whenever I got up, I went ahead and started cooking the chicken and everything. Plus, yesterday, Titus and Tyler left here at like, what time did y'all leave? Two o'clock in the morning or three? Two, about two or 2.15 yesterday morning, they left from here because they were hauling some cows to Tennessee. Anyway, yeah, they got back around eight, and then, of course, we had to get up early this morning, so they were very sleepy. So naps went down today, and I haven't really done anything. I did start a load of clothes. I did that this morning, just out of habit. I always go straight in there and start a load. I put it over there on the table. Come on, it's on the table. He doesn't want the quack quack that's on the table. He wants the ones that are in this little container. He thinks it's something different, I guess. Okay, so I made a salad to go with mine, and I used the Hidden Valley Ranch dressing that we made yesterday. Today, it does taste a lot closer to Dairy Queen's, but a lot of y'all are telling me in the comments now that they use the buttermilk dressing. And they do have a buttermilk, you know, dressing mix packet. And I almost got that one, but I saw that one said restaurant style, so I got it instead. I did use buttermilk, you know, to make it but the buttermilk pack, maybe it's a little different. So I'm gonna get that and try it. And I'm gonna get Kraft Mayo, cause that Hellman's maybe throwing me off since I'm so used to Kraft Mayo now. Maybe that's, I don't know, ranch dressing problems. Okay, I'm gonna finish packing up the leftovers. We have four biscuits, some potatoes, some green beans, and I think a couple of corn on the cob. Cobs. So I'm gonna pack that up and finish cleaning up. Is it good? Are you ready to take your bath? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish your chicken first, okay? Oh, now you're gonna be done with it it's so you can get that. Huh? It's dark. It is dark, I know. We don't like that it gets dark so early, huh? Mama. 